Hey everybody, Overkill here again for another video, and this time it is my Mafex comic version Deadpool. Very awesome box. Reminiscent of the old comic for sure. Got a lot of parts in this. Really stoked to get this guy. As you, you probably know by now, Deadpool is my favorite character in Marvel Comics, DC, or any comic at all. My main man, Deadpool. Yes. So, let's take a look at this box real quick. Check it out. Awesome, like I said, the blue. Loving it. Awesome retro throwback look to it. It shows you all the pieces. It even got variations of his belt buckle, which is really awesome. We see the figure post. And on the bottom, a bunch of meaningless junk that we really don't worry about. And I will say that I did get this from Ageless Geeks. Thanks again for the hookup, Mr. Alex Blatz. So, without further ado, let's get it open. Alright, here he is outside the box inside his clamshell, showing off all of his awesomeness. Pop his thing open. Here is the Deadpool. Very awesome. Kind of heavy. Seems built a lot sturdier than the Figma one I was using as my mascot that actually broke on me. It broke at the shoulder joint, but, oh well, crap happens. Anyway, let's take a look at this guy. First up, you'll see he's got a whole lot of articulation. And the neck and head both move, allowing him to look down really far. And you look back really far, which is cool. And then we'll go to the arms, and he does have a butterfly joint here, it looks like. Get it loose a little to show it don't, I guess it don't do a lot but it allows for a little bit of dynamic moving and then on the shoulder with this joint you can go all around pop out it's just got a little ball joint didn't intend to pop it out but pretty cool to show you nonetheless without doing it it goes up about that high and uh, about that far down because of the limitations with the chest here and then he does have a upper swivel and then at the elbow, double jointed, bend it up pretty far, and go back, eh, pretty much straight. And then here, the wrist, obviously where the hands change out, you can got full rotation. Same on the other arm, we'll move down, he does have an ab crunch, he bends back about that far. And forward, just till it touches, not a lot, but it allows for moving. And then at the waist, it's got full movement. You can see it must be, it looks like it's on a ball. Yeah, it's on a ball, so you, you get dancing Deadpool. <laughs> he would totally do that. All right, on down, we get down to the pouches, which are really cool looking. Under it, at the legs, you can see with his joint, he don't, it don't go up real high this way. As you can tell, it's we got a lot of resistance right there. It's got a little bit of movement though, and it will allow some turn. So he doesn't have the, the real dynamic posing that the Figma one had, which is kind of a bummer, but still, it's pretty cool. Uh, next up, at the knee, it's double jointed. It was pretty straight, right there. And the next is at his ankle, which is a ball. So you got pretty much full rotation around on it. It goes up about that high. And if you do the toes, about like that. Or you can go down pretty far, which is pretty cool. Opposite legs, obviously the same. I did notice on this Deadpool. You've got different variations and shades in the red on them. The black's pretty much the same. I guess this is just to show off like the comic look from the pages. This reason he's got the different red. But it almost feels like the head is a way totally different shade red than the rest of the body that don't match up. But that's not a killer. I mean, I'm a Deadpool fan. I like him anyway. I like this version of Deadpool from the comics. The Marvel now with the new boots and the wristbands and stuff. So yeah, it's pretty cool. 
So, how about we look at some of the features in the box? First up, we've got a very awesome head for Deadpool. One winking, one eye open. Really cool. That whole like quizzical look you could get from that. Next up, we have both Squint Eye Deadpool. If you want to do the more serious look from the early days. Or when he decides to get serious because somebody stole his tacos. Next up, we have a couple of the belt buckles. Which is a black and red. Which would be really cool for a Thunderbolts display if you wanted one. It would look really cool when he was in the Thunderbolts. Next up, we have a variation of the classic Deadpool and the goofy face. You can see the differences in those two here. I like this one a lot too. I'm actually switched to this one. And then next up, we have some of his weapons. I will point out that this Deadpool doesn't have any guns, but that's cool. I have plenty of Deadpools that do. And you put them on pretty easy, like so. They're stretchable. I think you can actually pop his arm off, make it even easier. And just pop it back in like that. <laughs> And there we go. The swords, you can see here, are just the hilts, if you want to have it here. Same as most other Deadpools. It looks pretty cool on them. It raises up a little bit. Doesn't set real flush. Maybe if a little moving around, it'd do it. But, yeah, it's cool looking. And then if you want to have these out, like so, he does have the swords loose there they both are and of course when I took the clamshell off they went everywhere but he does have a full array of hands to allow you know punching doing his totally awesome stuff picking up weapons waving anything you can imagine all kinds of hands in this let's uh, get him posed up for a really cool look and we'll get right back at it and there you have it posed the way I want to put them with a goofier belt buckle on face and the swords. And I'm going to go ahead and say that it was really aggravating putting the hands on with the little bitty pegs. It was kind of frustrating. Same with the swords. The swords didn't want to go into the hands really well. So when you're trying to apply pressure, if you mess up, you'll start bending the sword, which might cause it to break. So be careful of that if you decide to get this figure. It's not perfect, but it's if you're a Deadpool fan, you'll like it. Some of the pluses I went over with you, the just the, the features in general. The price ain't terrible for an import. And the new look for Deadpool is all awesome. Some of the flaws I have to point out, like I said, is the pegs on it that Mafex has given us. Uh, the holes for the swords. I know they want to have them hold it without the swords falling out, but... It's, there's a point when you shouldn't have to apply so much pressure that you're afraid that you're going to break the sword involved with it. And then some of the posability. Upper half is really good. Lower half, not so much. You can't do a whole lot for the legs unless you really, really work it. You know, you have to decide for yourself if this is one you'd want. You know, for a cheaper price point than this one at the time, Figma had a lot more posability. I would give Figma the posability and give this one the appearance. Really cool though. I'm glad to have it in my collection. Hopefully if you guys decide to get it, you'll enjoy it too. You just have to kind of make up your own mind on that. I wanted to give you a quick review, pros and cons of this figure. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Until next time, make mine Marvel, make mine Deadpool, and I bid you farewell.